away very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Benfica against Inter. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Barrera. Skriniar. Barrera. Skriniar. Tries to root one option. Color of with the ball through. Well read, he sorted that out. Is it in? Ball's loose, who's getting there? Ball forward, what does he try from here? A loose ball. Checo. Samaris. Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. Samaris. Correa. Thrust towards the front line. What a throw in. Grosovic. And we've reached half time. Reflections on the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Here we go again, then. Nil-nil, then, and we're back on the way. Looks to slip it through. In it goes! The second half off to a spectacular start! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Benfica break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Lukaku looks to dink one in. Checo! Terrific! 
Terrific! Unbelievable. Inter are back in business. That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Look, volleys can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment, it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. That's a pop! This could fall anywhere! Brozovic, and it's Sensi. Benfica hasn't yet dipped into their subs. Correa. Into Milan, uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Sensi. Correa. Lukaku. Battles to win it back. Samaris. Correa. Andre Almeida. Kolarov. Skrinya. Brozovic, and it's Dzeko. Done very well to intervene. Rafa Silva. That's a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. again for a throw-in. Chalanolu. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Tries a through ball. Looks like a good ball through. He's had a go! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Yeah, that's great running from the way he manoeuvred himself into such a good position to receive the pass and go through on the goalkeeper then. Nokia. Skriniar. There will be four extra minutes. And he's made certain that won't get through. Brozovic passes it through. Correa's cross. That's well blocked, and back out it comes. And it's Dzeko. It's bounced out! And it's a goal! And look who gets the final say! And it's certainly no fluke when you see a player of his calibre manufacture a goal that will surely seal the deal on this contest. Brilliant instinct and great timing by such a clever operator. And that is about as cool as they come.
He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. And that will be the final act. Benfica just couldn't kill it off. They let their opponents back into it and let it get away. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.